Anthony Fantano, internet melon himself, YouTube's premier music reviewer, and for good reason. He's just got the chillest, most logically convincing methodology to how he reviews his stuff. He's just a super personable guy, you know? It's really easy to get disconnected from reviews when you're reading them on a site like Pitchfork or something and you have to slog through infinite paragraphs of text trying to decipher what exactly they're trying to tell you about the music through their flowery, nonsensical, pretentious ass language. But Fantano's just a bro. He's just a dude just sitting across from the table shooting the shit about music and that goes a long way, that vibe. Now on his second channel, he has a particular segment called Let's Argue. It's time for another episode of Let's Argue where people send in contentious arguments that he debates with or just gives his take on. I came across this particular one here that got me really thinking. Music reviewers ruin the music. Actually, in reality, the music sounds the fucking same whether someone reviews it or not. I don't know, if, if me or some other reviewer makes you change your mind about a song, maybe you were just listening really lazily to something in a passive fashion because it was popular or because it was on or because it just sounded pleasant in the background and someone actually forced you to think about it. Now this is a point that I've been thinking about in regards to music reviews for a long time and he really put a fine point on it. Take this album right here, Jack White's new Boarding House Reach. Crazy, fuzzed out, pseudo avant-garde techno rock album. The first time I listened to it, I was just like, what the fuck is this shit? And I shelved it, you know? Didn't really resonate with me. Like, meh. But Fantano's review on it completely changed my mind. Creative display of texture and sound and color and composition. It's an aesthetic rush. It's incredibly dynamic. It's challenging and it's overwhelming and yet, it's very methodically composed, like you can definitely digest it, but it hits you with a lot. Which I'm very grateful for because I was probably never gonna listen to the album again. And this is ultimately the power of the music review. I myself used to be of this persuasion and I can see how easy it is to fall back on the argument that it's inherently a bad thing to try to objectively grade something as subjective as art. I've kind of changed my mind after that let's argue to be completely honest. I think it's just only a good thing. You know on the one hand as Fantano said himself it's something that can just open your mind to something you never really considered about the album and maybe let you give it a second chance and get you into some things that you would not normally have ever really gotten into. And on the other hand a bad review doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. You don't have to take it to heart. You don't have to give it a lot of stock. Fantano's review of the last couple Opeth albums, for instance. He really didn't seem to like them, but I didn't let it change my mind because I fucking love Opeth and I really liked those albums, so it really didn't sway me. There's all positive and not a lot of negative in my mind. Unless you're a fanboy who gets super butthurt at things that you like getting bad reviews. But if that's the case, that has to do with you and not the review. So all in all, I guess this is kind of an endorsement of Fantano and his music reviews. As a music fan, I fucking love the guy, and I think the power of the music review is a great thing. He really uh, will get you into some crazy new sonic flavors that you never tasted before. He's also got the best teeth in the fucking game. I'm your host, the best, best teeth, teeth in the fucking, fucking game. game. So give him a watch. And if you like this video, subscribe. Let me know what you think about music reviews. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're shit? Do you like music? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Peace.